It's a stocky, sturdy, silky, smooth kind of dog with an ever-wagging tail. They are stunning to look at. There are a lot of people who would pay a lot of money to have hair like a Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniels are sweet, loyal, affectionate, playful. In fact, they're terrible watchdogs because they're so friendly. Oprah Winfrey has three. President Truman had Feller. President Nixon had Checkers. And this Cocker Spaniel helped sell suntan lotion. Two other Cockers are famous in England for sniffing out cancer at Amersham Hospital. History says these dogs date back to the 14th century and originated in Spain. They may have been one of the few dogs to come to America on the Mayflower. Cocker Spaniels were bred to hunt game birds, particularly one game bird called the Woodcock is where their name comes from, the Cocker Spaniel. Way back then, a litter of Cockers weren't just all baby Cockers. The smaller dogs were called the Cockers and the larger ones were called the Springers. The smaller dogs were great at hunting Woodcocks, birds that fly low to the ground. And the taller litter mates were good at flushing or springing the flying game out of its hiding spots. The first lovable thing people notice are the Cocker Spaniel's long, low-slung, feathered, floppy ears. They're long and cute and flowing. Traditionally, Cocker Spaniels have dark eyes. They are round with almond-shaped rims. When they look at you, you really think they can understand what you're saying and they can look into your soul. The Cocker Spaniel's body is sturdy and compact. It's the smallest of the sporting dog breeds and the smallest of the Spaniels. Traditionally, these dogs live around 12 to 15 years, if properly taken care of. Good care on the part of pet parents is probably one of the things that is most likely to determine the length of dog's life. And that's what Sharia and Norm have done with their little Cocker Spaniel named Uno, who lives here at this four-story townhouse in Sherman Oaks, California. I call him Mr. Fatty Pants. <laughs> I call him Mr. Fatty Pants because, you know, he looks fat, but he's really not. He's just a short little Cocker Spaniel that's very muscular. And Uno loves cruising the neighborhood in the car and on the sidewalks. He is the original Alta Cocker, and in Hebrew, that just means old man. He's an old Jewish dog. <laughs> in fact, he may be America's oldest dog. According to his owner, Uno is 22 years old. In dog years, that's like 154. <laughs> While most dogs only live about 12 human years, the oldest dog ever lived to be 29. He wasn't a Cocker Spaniel, but an Australian cattle dog named Bluey. He died in 1939. But amazingly, this 22-year-old guy gets around just fine. He eats, sleeps, goes for walks, even climbs up four stories of stairs on his own every day. When he has to go upstairs to go to sleep or make a pee-pee, there's a lot of stairs. And he does this five, six, seven times a day, all the way out here to his lawn. Norm adopted the dog when Uno was two years old. Six years ago, Cherie came into Norman Uno's life, and that's when the dog really started to get pampered. Cherie even opened her own doggy spa. I know you don't love this, but you have to get this done, and you're so happy when it's done. He's old, so he just likes to run around and, and hang out instead of being in the tub or being dry. But not only does Uno get fluffed and buffed, he has his own personal chef, too. You want some chicken, honey? Suki wants it. And while he loves his home-cooked dinners, his favorite meal of the day is soup. Wipey mouth time. Well, you know we don't like this. Even Uno's vet, Dr. Klipsham, says he's amazed at just how healthy this dog really is. I think it's a combination of a lot of things. Diet, exercise, good, stable environment. He just keeps going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. You are the best boy in the world. Yes, you are. You're the best boy and the oldest boy. Please. I just love him to death, and I couldn't imagine being without him. If you want your Cocker Spaniel to live a long life like Uno, raise your dog in a stress-free environment. Apartment living works just fine.
and you just have to make sure you exercise them. Most cockers live fairly long lives, but see your vet often because they can develop cataracts, kneecap problems, and ear infections. You do need to pay regular attention to those ears, perhaps keeping the hair on the inside of the ear flat, shaved down a bit to allow for ventilation. Along with keeping a cocker spaniel's ears clean, you will need to groom their body. And training can happen with a cocker spaniel, but they can be a little stubborn. If you don't train them well, they can develop a little bit of aggression. They can become a little territorial. So does the cocker spaniel make a good family pet? It can, but make sure you get yours from a good breeder. In general, the cocker spaniel can live almost anywhere, but needs exercise. They can have health problems like cataracts and ear infections. They need regular grooming and are easily trained. So overall, the Cocker Spaniel can make a good pet if adopted from a reputable breeder. Next on Dogs 101.